Yeah, I'm uh, John Murphy. In fact, I uh, live in South Queensferry and I'm chairman of the uh, Queensferry Heritage Trust. Well, because I am very impressed by the bridge, first of all, and um, uh, I have sort of very fond memories of, of, of even arriving here and seeing the bridge for the first time. Um, when my son, who was very young at the time, had a ladybird book, one of these wee books on bridges, and he fell asleep. Um, we stopped uh, in Queen's Ferry and looked out and woke him up in the car, and his eyes were opened up. They were absolutely amazing. And he said simply, my bridge. <laughs> and, uh, and we were very impressed and found a house looking at it. What was he um, for <laughs> you know, at the time? And he, he didn't think the bridge really existed. So the reality of it was quite striking. But now um, my daughter, she, she raises money for the local playgroup and uh, by, by abseiling on the bridge. So to them growing up here, the bridge is part of their, their life. And um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're very enthusiastic about it. Um, it, it. It's one of those symbols which is national, international. It's, uh, it, 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 it celebrates a moment in civil engineering, and particularly Scottish civil engineering. Um, but it's also international. It's, uh, it, it, it's one of the great um, objects, the man-made objects in the world. But the fantastic thing about it is that it was, it was opened the same year as the Eiffel Tower in Paris. But this still serves a very useful, functional transport purpose. It is a railway bridge and that's, that's its function. And it stands there four square and gets on with the job. The, the great thing is the train. I mean, if they, if they came, say from Edinburgh, uh, travel over the bridge to North Queens Ferry, walk down, you know, it, 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 it's one of the epic sort of small journeys of the world.